Hello there. April empties. Um, to slightly I should explain that I have very dry eczema prone skin and I'm 45 so I'm a wee bit older so my empties will suit my skin type. Okay, let's just get into it. First off, I have um, a couple of deodorants, random sort of things. I'm trying to go aluminium free and I'm using a salt of the earth sort of stick thing when I get out of the shower but for a wee bit of freshness before I go out somewhere or that I like a spray and this is a soft and gentle 0% aluminium I'm on the hunt for something a wee bit more natural but until I find something this is working pretty well for me an older one that I have that I used up just because there was a wee bit left in it is the Shure but as I said although I like the Shure I'm trying to go aluminium free hair stuff I don't have very much hair stuff this one because it takes me ages to go through shampoo and things um, this is the Batiste Nourishing and Rich. Now I have dry hair, um, coarse textured, dry, wavy sort of hair. And this one's the one I like best for my hair type. Okay. A small L knit that I found when I was doing a bit of a clear out. Um, it's I had a wee touch left in it, but I'm just getting rid of it. For body care. Um, I use a lot of prescription body care because I've had a really bad time with my eczema lately. So for showering, I've been using the Dermal 200. Now, I don't just use this, I use a few other things, so I sort of rotate it around. But this I get on prescription from the doctor and it's really effective for when my eczema's quite flared up. I also get this from the doctor. This is the Zero Base Cream. I have two, to be honest. There you go, two of them, both empty. Um, this works really well for me as uh, I have to layer my body moisturiser so sometimes I'll use an oil, sometimes I'll use a natural um, body lotion for the sort of nut oils and things to nourish my skin but I need an occlusive layer to lock that in because one layer of moisturiser is never enough, I'm so, so hard to dry it's, it's terrible. So I've been putting that on top and it's working really well for me, get on prescription. When I find something natural that works as well as this does, then I'll switch to that. But in the meantime, this is working pretty well for me. Along the same vein, I, I buy this one out of books. This, this isn't as greasy as the other one, so it's more suitable for during the day. I enjoyed it. It's fragrance free, doesn't make my skin itch. Um, this one has ceramides in it, so it's slightly better for my skin, but it's still fully like mineral oil and all these sort of things so as I said once I find something natural that really works for me then I'll stop buying these Epiderm get this from the doctor too this is kind of like straight Vaseline to be honest um, it's a wee bit richer and easier to spread I use this on my hands and feet overnight what I do is I put my foot and hand cream on I'll put a layer of the zero base on and then I'll lock it in with this prior to putting socks and gloves on so that it really locks it in overnight. It's like having a paraffin wax treatment in a way. Um, this is working well for me at the moment. As I said, once I find something else that works, then I'll stop using so much petrochemicals. Cruelty Free Palmer Shea Lotion. This was fine as a first layer. But there's no way that this is moisturiser enough for my skin on its own. It just isn't. Okay, I'm trying the coconut oil one just now, which I like fine too. But I probably won't repurchase that one either. My sister actually gave me this. She's living in America just now. When she was over, she had brought this gold bond healing ointment. Um, I quite liked it. It certainly worked fine and it didn't irritate my skin. Um, it's not something that's readily available here and because I'm looking for something more natural it's not something I would repurchase anyway. I have a couple of makeup things. This is two sponges, real technique sponges. I buy them in the double pack or I buy two singles if it's cheaper doing it that way. But I buy two at a time because I wash them after every use and I like to have two in rotation for cleaning. Um, Basically, it's just wrecked. It's all starting to fall apart and things. So that's when I get rid of them. And I've got two new ones on the go just now. 
I have something that I used as a hand wash. Um, it's the L'Occitane shower cream. Now I got this in a kit quite a while ago from QVC and it's not enough for me. It's got sodium lauryl sulfate in it as a second ingredient and it's not much enough as a shower gel for, for my skin so I used it as a hand wash and it was fine for that. Um, cotton wool. I have a normal cotton wool for Mazda. These I use with my cellar water. I just, I find they work fine. Um, not not any big issues with them. But cotton's one of the most sprayed crops on the planet. So I wouldn't use this after I had done my cleansing. I, I use a micellar water and then a cleanser. But for the micellar water, that's fine. They're, they're fine. Sorry about that. Um, I have a, a small, rather grubby looking pack of baby wipes. This is the sort of thing that I keep in my handbag for cleaning my hands. A lot of these alcohol sprays and that are just far too drying. And this I like just to give my hands a quick refresh if I'm going for a coffee or, you know, going to eat out or something so I can wash my hands. I like to wash my hands before doing things like that. So that's me. Um, we stopped selling them in this sort of packet in Asda, so I've got a super drug one now which is cruel for you and I'm quite happy with that. These I'm getting rid of, I, they were just horrible. I, I just, I couldn't force myself to use them even to move squatches because they're greasy and they're just horrible and I would not recommend them for anybody. Now I have super dry skin and I think they're greasy and horrible so no, ju just just no, I'm getting rid of them. Um, more cotton milk. I got these I got three boxes of these when one of the stores beside us was getting rid of DHC. They were discontinuing the line and they had it really heavily reduced. I think I got them for like two pound a box. Um, they were really good cottons for. I used them for eye makeup remover because they didn't leave any sort of bits of cotton wool. They've got like a a layer of, sort of net stuff over the top that stops any cotton wool being left behind. Like them, but I wouldn't pay. Ex Extraordinarily expensive money for them. There's two that I've used up there, and I used another one previously, so that's them all gone. A um, couple of things I'm getting rid of. This is the Garnet makeup remover. Really don't like it. Really, really don't like it. I'm going to ask a couple of my friends if they want it, but really don't like that. I bought the Dove Nourishing Oil to try. Um, really don't like it. Made me itch. Horrible. Give it to one of my friends who's not got a sensitive skin as me. I have a couple. Oh, I have a simple micellar water. Now I like this, but it's not cruelty free, so I'm looking for a cruelty free alternative at the moment. I've tried a couple that have been really not very good. I have one more of these in my back stock that I went my way through, but I won't repurchase it. I'm looking for something more natural, as I said. Makeup. I only have two things. I have a Last Sensational Mascara from Maybelline. Wasn't that struck on it? Won't be purchased. It was alright, but it's not cruelty for either. Rimmel. Um, this is East End Snob Colour. This is my favourite lip liner because it's just the perfect colour for me. But I won't be buying it because obviously it's not cruelty free. And I'm looking for something of a similar shade in a different brand. Some skin care. Uh, right. Uh, this this we'll try this one. we'll do this one first. This is the Skin Pep Super C fifteen. This has got fifteen percent L ascorbic acid, vitamin E and ferulic acid as well as peptides, etc. I really like it. Um it's around about £14 for a 30ml bottle so it's a lot cheaper than the very expensive Skin Suitables equivalent. Um, no fragrance added to it. That was why I didn't like the Lee Henriksen one because it was full of um, fragrance. Um, I found it worked really well for me. Paraben free, alcohol free, perfume free, hypoallergenic, it has hyaluronic acid in it. Matrixyl peptides, really like it. I'm using another bottle just now. I'm currently on my fourth bottle of it, so that's how much I like it. Um, right, 
I've got a small cleansing balm. This is Emma Hardy cleansing balm. Mini size. I've had a full size before and really liked it. This is just a wee mini one that I had that I've finished up. Uh, Liz Aero Super Skin Moisturiser. Um, this was okay. I'm not going to rebuy it. It just it wasn't rich enough for me and I just didn't think it was fabulous and it's quite expensive. A couple of um, Gatineau iPads. Now I got a pack of five of these in TK Maxx for five ninety nine, which was like a really good deal. Um, they nip my eyes slightly if they got too near the eye, so I won't rebuy them. But they were certainly nice to try, and I think I've got a couple left. Eye drops, just normal eye drops um, for dry eyes. They were fine, cheap, fine. Um, I have a neck moisturiser. This is a Pure from Max and Spencer's. Now Max and Spencer's own brand stuff's all cruelty free. Um, I really liked this one, but they've discontinued this particular line. This was the um, sort of super skin sort of line, um, but I did like it, and I used that up. I have a couple of ordinary serums. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Two Percent Plus B Five. Really sticky but quite hydrating. I actually find that it works better for me mixed with the squalane in my hand prior to applying. And then my sort of oil rich moisturisers don't ball up on top of it if I do it that way. This is Ordinary Alpha Beauty. Now I bought this to use in conjunction with my vitamin C for feeding freckles and sun damage and things. This is the second bottle. I've got one. That I'm using today which will be the third ball and I haven't seen any difference so once I finish the third one I won't be really buying this particular serum. Lactic acid 10% really like this now I only use it once a week because it's pretty strong but my sensitive skin will cope with this. I use this once a week and I use a retinol once or twice a week and I use this to get rid of the flaking from the retinol so do you like it got another one on the go just now Skin, skin Pep uh, face mask. These are the sort of gel, hydrogel masks. I have four in here. These are my favourite. They work out to about £2 each, which is really affordable, but they've got really good ingredients in them. No fragrance, no alcohol, peptides, retinol, hyaluronic acid. Really excellent for the money, and I'm happy with them, and I'll continue to buy them. A couple of random things. Um, Liz Aero Foot Moisturiser. Liked it. Might be back in the future. Pepperminty. I like a minty sort of foot, foot uh, moisturiser. And I did like it. This was a travel size. L'Occitane Foot Cream. Um, like that one as well. I um, don't think L'Occitane is cruelty free so I probably won't rebuy it but I have quite a lot of L'Occitane stuff that I had from kits and things that I'm working my way through and I will be using them up and not just throwing them out. Okay so that's the foot cream. A uh, couple of hydrocortisones. I get a much stronger um, bet the weight ointment from the doctor for my eczema on my body but I don't want to use that on my face. So if I get any patches that deal with my face, I go and buy a 1% hydrocortisone that I use for just a few days. Both of these work fine, just different brands. This is the Boots Own and the E45 one. Um, I don't recommend using the hydrocortisone on a regular basis on your face because it thins the skin. But just for a couple of days when you've got a real flare up, it certainly comes in handy. And I don't want to use a really strong steroid on my face. So those are both used up. We'd buy either. If that was an offer, I would buy it. But that's cheaper, so I'm, and they work the same, so I'd buy that one normally. And a few other random things. Electric bus, uh, toothbrush head. This is the sensitive one. I like that one the best. And sensitive razors. I like them too. So that's it. That's your lot. Um, thanks very much if you're watching. And I'll continue to save my rubbish and do another empty one next month. Bye then.